Okay, so this is a Game Boy that I've picked up off eBay. It said it wasn't working, which is exactly what I wanted, because I want to learn how to fix them. Um, it said it doesn't turn on, so obviously there's no batteries at the moment, so I'll show you <coughs> with some working batteries. So I know these works, I've tested them in previous uh, Game Boys. So they're in, flip the power on, don't even get a light, I don't get anything. Um, now, I've been through a lot of testing before uh, sort of starting this video and found out that um, in order for the, um, and it's not screwed in, so ignore that, it didn't come like this. Um, in order for the Game Boy to boot up, um, let's get all this out of the way. So in order for the Game Boy to boot up, it has to pass the power from the battery terminals and obviously the batteries has to pass through the DC jack um, to then access the board. Now, um, I've noticed and I've, I'll try and get some higher res images to put on screen, but there are some corrosion on the contacts for the legs of this part. So this needs coming off and uh, re-soldering. So clean it up, clean the corrosion off. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to take it off, I'm going to desolder, clean them up, get rid of the corrosion, and then solder it back on, and then hopefully that clean connection is going to allow it to, to boot up. I've used multimeter to test uh, power throughout the entirety of the board, and it doesn't really get past, past here, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've got the... Uh, soldering iron up to temperature to start melting these contacts, start melting the solder off these contacts and I've got this uh, like solder sucker that I'm going to try and uh, use and this is pretty much my first time soldering so um, I've done some wires before but never anything quite like this so let's give it a shot so I'm just going to get the solder hot melted I can't see that there's much more um, left on the on the pads, but it's still not wanted to come off. I'll probably go through and, and desolder these three points then, and they should all come off as one unit, so that'll probably be the best bit, best bet from this point forward. Uh, let's go with this one. Okay, the solder just seems to be getting stuck on the inside of the plastic, which is not great. Let's do this last bit, this last one. That's straight away. It's not dropped out that time. Okay, so after some persistence and an increase in temperature, I've managed to get it off. There we go. It's dropped off, so I can turn my soldering iron off now. There we go, let that cool down. And let's see what we've got. So, this little device, this is the, uh, the DC input. This is what is, I'm trying to get this in the camera, sorry. Maybe it's too close to focus. So that, um, on there, let me try and get it better for the camera. There was some serious, or what looked like serious corrosion anyway, on, wow, okay. Um, let's just zoom it out a little bit. There was some corrosion on these legs. Um, I'm going to clean them up and then just basically resolder it back on. Now it could be that this, maybe the unit's gone. I don't know. And obviously these, um, probably these two pins here is basically just the metal bracket. You can see it goes round. Uh, sorry about this shocking camera work. 
Um, you can see that metal bracket goes around. That's just two pins off of that. So they don't need to be uh, cleaned. Um, but the rest of it does. So I imagine it's quite... Yeah, it's cool to pick up now. So I'm just going to have a little look at this. I'm going to get a little toothbrush and get it cleaned up. Okay, so I've given it a clean. Now it's time to solder it back on. So I'm just letting it heat up uh, for now. Um, I've cleaned the contacts the best I can, but I think there might be an issue with um, the DC jack itself, in which case I might see if I can find a replacement. But in the meantime, um, I'm going to drop it into position. should hold it in place for a bit okay let's do the contacts for now Now obviously this is the point where I either find out I've completely effed it all up or it works or it might even be another problem. So um let's get the let's get the unit together. Get that bit first the front panel. Always a speaker causing problem for me. Okay, that's in. Put in the off position just in case. Let's get the switch. Sorry for this, some of this was off screen. Switch working. Okay, I'm just going to hold it together, slip, slip some batteries in, and see what happens. Um, I'm going to guess it doesn't turn on, but we'll see. Yeah, not switched on, so won't turn on. Uh, back to the testing, I suppose. <laughs> Okay, so um, let me just do this out a little bit. So that didn't work. Um, the I think the DC jack, let me grab it. <clears throat> uh, this little fella, um, I think he's he's fried. I think he's, he's done. I don't know if uh, someone has spilt something in it one time and then tried to uh, plug it in and use it or what, but I ain't getting any anything through that. And... Um, this is the alternative that I'm going to go with uh, I'll show you now so I've currently got just a battery pack wired up I've got the black or negative wired into the spring and then I've got a red or the positive uh, just clipped under the other tab so that's providing the power um, to the board so if I uh, obviously it's just the board at the moment there's no screen but if I switch it on I get nothing now the cables are connected, it's providing power, but because this uh, DC jack is missing and for the power to get from the battery to the circuit board to the, the DC-DC converter, um, it has to go through the DC jack, which obviously it's not there or wasn't working, so therefore it was never getting through. So I'm going to take some uh, some tweezers and just bridge the connection and obviously in, in, the, in the final version I'm going to remove that jack completely um, and just have a wire bridging these so if I touch and I'm just going to make sure the volume is up where would the volume be here uh, let's try this so it's on it's in the on position I'm going to touch the two connect the two pins are uh, three and two okay that was quite quiet let's turn it back up I'll turn it off turn it back on 
so it's on there, bridge the connection. Okay, maybe that was quiet. Okay, speaker's possibly a little bit quiet, but I'm hoping you can hear that, so if I turn it off, uh, turn it back on, I get I get the boot up sound. So all I'm going to have to do is uh, just solder a wire to bridge this connection, and then I can put it back together and it should boot up. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so let's just make sure we're focused. I've stripped a bit of wire. Um, I'm going to disconnect these because uh, we don't need them connected at the moment. Disconnect them. <clears throat> now the problem is I don't need a lot of wire, but I need some so it will bend uh, just between the two points. So that should be okay. Try and bend it to a U shape. So it's probably going to go something like that. In there, and I'm going to try and you know uh, flatten it down at some point. So let's get some solder. Get the, let's just turn the, vo the temperature down on this. Doesn't need to be too high. Uh, so what I'll probably do is do it from the other side. Okay. Let's make sure we can see this. I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. So let's just see how that is. Seems to be solid enough. Let's give it a bit of a test. Yeah, that's it, that ain't moving. It's probably a little bit, sorry, probably a little bit high. At least it's a bit high, but maybe um, just bend it down like that. So, oops, sorry. Okay, let's uh, let's put this together and give it a test. Now I could just go back to using the the little battery uh, pack, but I think I'm just going to put it together and feeling a little bit confident about this. So let's just put it in the off position. Let's get the case. Set it in position. Well, the ribbon cable's all good. Okay, I'm just going to zoom this out a little bit, actually. Okay, that seems to be okay. Let's make sure the speaker's in. The speaker did seem a little quiet. Uh, maybe I'm... necessarily making that up but it just felt a bit weak to me so as long as it's working I'm happy okay what do we need <clears throat> what have I got on here a tri wing Phillips that right, doesn't seem okay Let's stick the power switch in and then s stick on the back. So, just like this. There we go. There's probably plenty of room there for the wire anyway. Okay, switch out the dry wing. Bit anxious, but at the same time excited to see uh, this console turn on for the first time uh, since getting it. <clears throat> Again, the eBay listing said it didn't power on. It's something I was looking for. I wanted to, to um, try and 
see if I could fix fix it and get it working and obviously learn at the same time um, and I did um, didn't know that the DC jack had to be either connected or well connected and functioning for uh, the rest of the console to turn on this one's screwing in a bit a bit of resistance but that's okay Going in. It's two more. Okay, so it's all back together. Let's find the battery cover. We do have a battery cover, there we go, and two double A's, where are they gone? One, and there's a second. So, go for it. Fantastic. Um, obviously there's no game at the moment, I'll grab a game in a second, but you can see, there you go, it's getting a light. I've got the power LED on, it's booted up. Um, so let me just grab a game, one second. Got a game I know works. Get my version of uh, Pokemon Blue. That's the point where we see, and it fully works. Amazing. So there we go. I've fixed that. Um, from here, I can't see any issues. There's no sound issues, there's no screen issues, there's no other issues that I'm aware of right now. It was just, it never, it would never switch on even with uh, batteries put in. Um, we do lose the functionality of the DC in, but obviously um, at this stage, um, I'm not that bothered, really not bothered. I play off batteries anyway. Um, reliably turns on and off. Fantastic, brilliant. So thanks for watching.